Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Well, it's sort of these weeks in EDM, because I missed last week, and so we're going at two weeks, 29 songs that came out the last two weeks I wanted to talk about, 14 from this week, 15 from last week, and so let's hop into it off the bat. Uh, we are starting in the bad category, no songs I thought were necessarily trash, uh, but in the first song in the bad category, we've got Hyperdrive by Excision and Benda. This is kind of just bland excision, the same strong sh song structure he's been using for decades now. Nothing really new. Not a fan. Uh, then we've got See You Again by The Chainsmokers and Elenium featuring Charlie Hansen, or Carly Hansen, sorry. Uh, this is this is just basic as hell. Um, narratively, it's super shallow. Uh, Production-wise, I just thought it was really lacking. Just, a, just an uninteresting song all around. And we're moving in. Uh, we've got Bang Bang, My Neo-Divergent Anthem by Galantis. Um, this song sort of explores the struggles with ADHD and being, I don't know, ne neurodivergent, I should say. And uh, I, I mean, I like the sentiment behind it, but the vocals are just a little annoying and are thrown over some really just lackluster production. And I don't think it really hit the way that it was intended to. So that's that. Uh, then we moved into the meh category songs that I thought were uh, were just just meh. Uh, we've got No Rules by Wales. Um, this does feel like a bit of a gimmick song to me. The concept of the kind of nine minute full flavor song is is cool, I guess. And I get that it's kind of fun that haha, I made a nine minute EP, now here's a nine minute song. Uh, but I don't know, as an individual track, the transitions between the movements felt a little forced at times. And overall, each drop section kind of just where you run in the middle, basic kind of EDM sounds. So not not necessarily a huge fan of that. Then we got Motive by Armin Van Buren. Uh, Armin Van Buren does not need to chase that really like in sound uh, like he's been doing recently with Slap House. And um, yeah, it, this is just really isn't anything special. This is basic Slap House that uh, he doesn't need to make, doesn't need to make this. And then we got Back for More by Nightmare and Big Gigantic featuring Olivia Sebastianelli, I want to say. A uh, really odd song, I would say, all around. The two drops felt miles different from each other. And uh, Big Gigantic's kind of classic trumpet sounds felt a little bit forced here. Uh, I just feel like the whole song was just, it felt weird. It felt a little strange. Um, uneasy, maybe. But yeah, odd one. They've got Safer Place by Corolla featuring Lux. Uh, There's a bit of an old school kind of progressive house sound. Reminds me a lot of Cascade, actually. Uh, but this track just felt a little bit like a truncated version of what Prague House is or was um, with just kind of shortened movements. So uh, not a huge fan of this track, but uh, not too bad either. Then we've got Backseat Lovers by Conroe. The melodramatic EP is out, and uh, this is not as jumpy as Conroe of the past has been. And this is more of a kind of persistent driving wall of sound kind of track. And um, I don't know, I felt a little underimpressed by this track in particular. I haven't actually given the full EP listen yet, but um, I uh, like the, some of the better single, or some of the other singles better than this one. So I don't know, this one just felt a little hmm, meh. Which is why it's a meh. But speaking of that, we are moving into the good category now. We've got 21 songs in good. Sadly, no standout, I don't think, for me this week. Although a lot of really good songs. I must say, a lot of the songs here, I actually really, really enjoyed that were in good. Um, so this is actually one of the better uh, couple weeks, I would say, in EDM for me this year, personally. We've got uh, uh, uh by Slumberjack and What's So Not, a very unique sound for Trap, uh, for sure on this track. That kind of main synth is a just a bit tad flat, I would say, especially on repeat listens, but overall a very enjoyable tune. Then we've got uh, Elenea, I want to say, by Akali and Broken, these... EP of the same name is out now, uh, and this song has a very like siren-like production to it with high energy trap production as well as lots of variety in the melody and structure with a kind of wailing synth that's persistent all throughout, and uh, I thought the track was uh, pretty good. They've got Walls by Lewis the Child and Claire Rosencrank. Uh, this is a bit of a quick hit of electro pop, and it's a bit of a bop. It's got some bubbly production and light vocals from Claire here, making for a very cheery track. They've got Hezi Heavier by Odessa and Yellow House. The first single from an upcoming EP between these two uh, is out now. And this is very kind of a, an ethereal kind of indie sounding track, I would say. Uh, and I'm very excited to hear the full project. I thought this first one was good. Um, not Odessa's strongest uh, historically, but uh, I'm very excited for what's coming next. We've got The Outlines by Coven and Circadian. Uh, a bit underwhelmed by this track, sadly, even though I did like it. Um, I just really love Katie's vocals a lot, but the processing on her vocals on this track made it feel like it was she was more distant in the mix than I would have preferred. Uh, and the D&B production is not quite Coven's standard and a little bit more of kind of basic synth melody, but uh, I, I did enjoy the track. 
Then we got Superpower by Pigboard Nerds, uh, Siren, and uh, Ina Bravo, and Sofon. Wow, sorry. Uh, but yeah, seemingly first mega collab of Nerd Nation, and does a great job of kind of encapsulating that whole Nerd Nation sound. Um, yeah, vocals are quite anthem anthemic, and the production kind of packed its own little punch, and so I enjoyed it. Then we've got Monster by Reaper and Josh Rubin. Uh, gotta be the most kind of subdued, kind of pulled back Reaper track to date, I would say. Uh, it's not a very, like, chill track by any definition, uh, but it doesn't really kind of pack that kind of face-melting punch that is so typically known for with Reaper. And um, I thought it was great. Uh, they brought the kind of heat on the back end with a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a punch with that kind of end finale. But uh, yeah, overall, I thought it was very stylistically, uh, like, a, a nice mix-up for Reaper sound, so... Not too bad. They've got Tennis Skirt by Jai Wolf featuring Ella Bo. Uh, good quality electropop here, and it appears to be on the kind of up and up with more kind of really solid electropop, I must say, especially this week. Um, but yeah, this is another great solid addition to that. A well-produced poppy dance single. Uh, Jai Wolf keeps the track fairly down, and I think it worked uh, quite well. Then we've got Divination by Jules. The Floor Space album is out now, and it is absolutely just solid trap production in both this track in particular and the EP or LP as a whole. Uh, it just feels very fresh considering it's um, not doing too much different or out of this world in terms of the trap sound design, but um, I, it was just really well produced, and that's just... Uh a caveat to say that just production can doesn't if it's if it's just great then it doesn't need to be overly different um, or overly crazy or out there. I look at Criminal by Zed's Dead and Hamdi featuring Warrior Queen, a uh, grimy underground track here that hits a lot of different subgenres. I'm always in favor of kind of Zed's more non-commercial tracks, uh, and this might be their best in a while. Very grimy track that I really enjoyed. They've got Drive by Kill the Noise and Joy Wave. Uh, this track is a fun, kind of fun blend of nostalgic synth wave, electro pop, and mid tempo. Um, it's a unique track that has, I would say, a lot of character to it, and I'm very happy and very excited for whatever the upcoming uh, Kill the Noise project is going to be. I've enjoyed quite a few tracks from that so far. And then we've got Arcadia by Pixel Terror and Ace Aura. Well-produced track with great sound design, but I just found it a little underwhelming, I would say, for the two of them. Uh, didn't go quite as hard as I was hoping for, but still really like the digitized dubstep, and it is just uh, produced to the nines, uh, well-put-together track. But um, yeah, I just felt like it was missing a little something that I maybe uh, was hoping for, but... And then we've got Drifting by Tiesto, a really solid track from Tiesto here. Um, it is short, but the kind of jittery production is some of his finest in the past year, and this would have easily been the best track from his Drive LP had it had been on it. So uh, way to go, Tiesto. Drifting, solid track. Then we've got Deadlock by Boss Fight and Have, a uh, huge collab that really did not disappoint for me. Tons of energy, big hits with intricate sound design, just a banger of a track. Then we've got I've Been Looking For You by Camouflage. Um, Camouflage with a relatively chill house track compared to his kind of the last EP and discography as a whole. Um, but yeah, just a very pretty track with simple melodies and easily digestible sound design. Uh, very, very pleasant track to listen to and just uh, vibing. Then we've got Speed of Light by No Taker and Eric Lumiere. Uh, single number two from No Taker's debut album is out now, and No Taker's kind of spacey uh, sound design has been very consistent over the years. Um, and this one in particular, this track in particular, Speed of Light, makes it kind of feel like you're about to go on like a hyperspace journey. Like right before you hit the thrusters to go, this kind of song is playing as the as the protagonist or you are kind of getting ready for the adventure and their talk, and it's like a little montage. And so uh, I would say quite euphoric, actually, quite euphoric track. So yeah. Then we got Break It Down by Retrovision. A uh, really fun song. It's a mix of kind of electro and bass house, and this might genuinely be my favorite Retrovision song to date. Uh, it's nothing too complex or out there, but it's just cons it's just solid and consistent, and it just goes, and I think it worked really well. Then we've got a uh, personal favorite of mine, uh, Run Through Me by Milkblood. I, I must say, I'm the best electropop producers right now in the game, hands down, I, I have to say. This track has um, got its replayability, the earworm of a hook, the great production. It's really got it all. This song has been stuck in my head for um, the week now, and I love this. I love Milkblood. Huge fan. They've got Hero by Grabbits. Uh, Mid-tempo Grabbits was a very welcome surprise, especially as a kind of return to Monster Cat here. Um, this is the first single from an upcoming album from Grabbits on Monster Cat, and uh, I just love his ability to kind of blend together both alternative and the dance side of things, and um, I was kind of happy to see him come back to a little bit more of a explicitly EDM style of song that wasn't just like this alternative dance fusion. So, um, great track, Hero, Grabbits, insane. 
Uh, then penultimate track of the week is Slices by Nightpunk. Um, Nightpunk is slowly becoming, actually I wouldn't say it's slowly, quickly becoming one of my uh, favorite producers right now. Um, this is a kind of breakbeat hip hop fusion of a track that is so satisfying and it fits right in with the uh, human LP that he dropped uh, this past year, which I love is currently my number one album of the year um, in all genres. So big fan of that. Go listen to Night Punk. And the number one song of the week is not actually where I thought this was going to land in the end, but it is going to be good by Maddion. I wasn't too overly impressed with the first listen I had, uh, but as I started listening to it a little bit more and more, I was like, wow, this is actually really nice. I really like it. It's a very chill single for Maddion. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's grown on me quite a bit. Uh, it's an atmospheric track with lots of kind of open air, both vocally and within the backbeat. Uh, and this song is the definition of a vibe, I would say. So uh, that is that. Uh, that was this week in EDM. Uh, let me know what you think of any of the songs in the comment section below. And as always, all the songs are in Spotify, a playlist as also in the link below. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.